All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of Monkey Business Incorporated, which is being made by forum user Black Sky, and it is a simple little parts mod that quite frankly adds something into the game that I've never seen before. Now, for all I know, there could have been a mod somewhere in the past that I've just missed, but to my knowledge, uh, the feature that this adds in, which is nested fuel tanks, has never been done before. Again, to my knowledge. If you know of something else that has done this, please let me know. But let's head into the VAB and take a look at exactly what I mean when I say nested fuel tanks, which is a really cool thing. Oh my god, I'm amazed that I haven't seen anything like this before, so let's grab a random command pod and go to where I have made a lovely little uh, subcategory. And you see here just the four small, simple parts that this adds into the game. But with these four parts, you can make this small ring fuel tank sit inside of this external ring fuel tank and then they can decouple, and this one flies away with the command pod. And it's wonderful, and it's such a simple solution as to how they did it as well. Now, normally with any of the parts we have, like let's just grab, say, oh, actually a fuel tank would probably be better for this. Uh, just a random RCS fuel tank, and normally, just like with the command pod, we have uh, two connection points. One at the top, one at the bottom. Some parts have more connection points here and there on different angles. But for the most part, most part rather, you have a top and a bottom. Now, with the monkey business parts, we have a multitude of uh, attachment points here, which you can see, which makes it a little strange for attaching them to objects. As you can see, I can technically attach this so that it's floating, but if we attach it uh, more properly, there we go. This small fuel tank, we can then add on a little engine to, where is that little one? Here we go. There we are. And this small little ring fuel tank internal part has its liquid fuel, has its oxidizer, it is of the 0 0.6 to 5 meter variety, fits a lovely small engine, and this thing could be used as a lovely little lander part for a low gravity planet, but then, say you need more fuel for the actual lander to land, well you just take this external ring part and attach it right into there just like that and thanks to those multiple attachment points that we have inside of the other tank we can take this hollow part as you can see right there and attach it into this so that the smaller a 625 tank just slides right in and there you go we have this engine popping out the bottom and they can be used in conjunction so they will share one another's fuel until you separate because this is also a built-in decoupler as you can see here it has ejection force of 50 and then also holds liquid fuel and oxidizer and it's well quite frankly it's just it's amazing i it's it's a simple solution to putting one thing inside of another thing but it works so well and i've never seen it done with engines like this before and now the other two parts that we have here are a module mark one adapter and a flat interstage decoupler now the ad module adapter here is also a decoupler uh similar to with this tank it is a multi-purpose sort of part as you can see here we can decouple and it is basically meant to be the adapter that we then attach these uh fuel tanks to but as you saw earlier we can just attach them to anything but uh, this adds in a decoupler into the mix that is a bit more solid for you to attach to and so we can just add our fuel tank there oh god grab that little engine again there we go and then you slide in the external fuel tank and then you put on this flat interstage decoupler and this is the bottom most piece and it just slides right on there so that it fits the engine internally as uh, let's actually raise this up a bit more so you can see a bit better under here there we go we can see the engine under there and then we can continue to attach rocket parts to the bottom here 
and this has no fuel crossfeed. Uh, the intention for these being uh, for making cool little landers, and so you don't want the lander fuel being sucked out by the rest of the ship, so this stops that from happening with the no fuel crossfeed, and then you just, you launch. So let's attach on some, uh, well, ah, screw the little, I was gonna attach on some lander legs, but let's just go and launch this straight away, and you will see how this all works together. Now, since I didn't attach any lander legs, this bottom interlock part or interchange part, whatever it was called, I've already forgotten, interstage decoupler, there we go, it'll probably explode when we release. Yep, it exploded. And then we can, oh, actually, let's turn the engine on at the bottom there. So there we go. We can launch this lovely little lander, and it will be using fuel from the external tank first, and then go into the ex internal fuel supply. But say you use this section to actually land your lander. You use this fuel in the external tank to land on the moon or Minmus, and there you go. You throttle down, you're nice and lovely on the surface. You can then detach that tank, and it just slides down away and falls back to the planet. And we're lighter now, which means we can get, hopefully, into orbit and uh, back to whatever thing you have circling above the planet there. And whoops, I accidentally decoupled that. I did not mean to. Now we're entirely out of control. But I hope you can see the point of having these sort of internal tanks. And we're actually gonna go to the space center, yes, leave anyways, because I actually did put a lander on the moon earlier using these lovely little lander parts. So you can see it in action. We have the, oh boy, I spelled that wrong. <laughs> it's supposed to be the monkey lander spelled correctly, but oh uh, boy, me typing, huh, it never goes well. And we can go here and see basically the intent of this sort of mod, which is quite cool. So we have the lander, it has landed on the surface using the fuel from this external fuel tank, and, well, we don't want to launch back into orbit with all this extra weight, because, well, these, these lander legs are weight, the fuel tank is weight, so we just need to decouple it, then throttle up, start the engine, and we leave that entire bottom section leaving behind all the excess weight that it had stored along with it, and we can head back into the orbit of the moon or Minmus, or any other low gravity body. Of course, you're probably not gonna be able to leave Duna with this thing, but for the moon, it's not that bad, not that bad at all. Oh boy, I can't fly at all, okay. Here we are. Let's turn off the UI so we can view the lovely Lovely little fuel tank. I, I am intrigued by this mod. As I said, I've never seen anything like this. And I love the possibilities of what this could bring. I, I really do hope that the mod maker continues to develop this. I know that he's already working on a inline lander legs to go along with this whole thing, which would be quite cool so it all fits in a bit better than the crappy little probe lander legs that I was using. And hopefully, perhaps they'll make it in different sizes, like maybe a 1.25 meter sitting inside of a 2.5 meter tank. I think that would be wonderful, and I, I'd love to see that. I, I love the idea of these sort of nested fuel tanks, because it's, you know, the basic, uh, you know, principle of shedding weight as you launch, but it keeps it in a more slim package that's not so bulky. I, I love that. And if you would like to go and try out this mod for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description as always. And uh, yeah, I hope you do. It's a very fun, a very cool indeed. And of course, I hope you have enjoyed this episode and that you come back for the next when we will be looking at, hopefully, yet another fun mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.